Hello fellow makeup addicts and welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to do this really pretty um, glowy look. I just got a few beautiful, beautiful Scott Barnes cosmetics in. I got these, I got the cheek, ah, where'd it go? I got the Cheek Cheek Blush Palette and I got the Showy and Glowy number one highlighter palette and it is so beautiful so we're gonna do a really pretty glowy look this is the inspiration today is this highlight palette it's very i like how natural it is like it's not too like white it looks just very like glowing so i think it's just a very very professional highlight um palette i really like it so the whole look is basically designed on getting this beautiful cat eye glowing beautiful look going and so today for the eye look the palette that i chose was blue blood because this is one of my favorite palettes um when this launched last year i was so excited about it i just went nuts did a bunch of looks with it and it was very inspiring to me and i really really loved it and then now with the new cremated palette launch that just launched came out I re it reminded me oh my god like my favorite color from this palette this is definitely one of my favorite colors and it's called cremated I was like hmm I wonder if he was like inspired to do that whole cremated palette based on this color because I think this is such a bomb ass color like it's blue but it's gray and it's just, it's so pretty. Like with my blue eyes, look at it. It just makes my blue eyes pop, I think. And usually that doesn't happen, but I think with the combination with Celebrity Skin and Ice Tray, which is what we're gonna use, it just, I don't know. It just makes my eyes pop, I think. It, or at least makes them look more like steel blue gray. And I really like that. This is um, also one of, still one of my favorite Jeffree Star Cosmetics palettes because I used Celebrity Skin for my like nose contour like every day. So I might have to buy another one of these while they're still in stock and they are still in stock. I just looked this morning and this is still in stock, the Blue, Blue Blood palette. So um, yeah, and then Cullinan is such a gorgeous highlight shade. So um, that's what we use in our inner corner and in our brow bone arch. And yeah, I am still in love with this palette and I'm so excited for the cremated palette to come out. So I don't know if this is like too much blue going on right now or whatever, but like, I guess I'm just um, really excited about uh, the cremated palette coming out uh, well, it came out yesterday. Today's Saturday. It came out on Friday the 22nd. And when I'm filming this, and, um, so that should be, I don't know when they're going to start shipping all of that, but yep, expect a lot of gray looks coming up. But now I will have my whole cheek, cheek game really going and really on point, And I'm really excited about that. So yeah, why don't you stay tuned for this beautiful gorgeous oh look at that <laughs> this is part of the body bling when you don't fill it uh, when you when you do not smudge it in this is what it looks like but yes yeah, so stay tuned for this beautiful cat eye really really simple um look and also using my beautiful new scott barnes eyelashes so yeah stay tuned Okay, so before, sorry, my son's like in the background on, on the phone. Um, okay, so I, I am baking right here and a little bit on my nose. And what I wanted to say about the Blue Blood palette is, let me pull it up here again for you, is um, last year when this was released, one of my favorite colors was actually cremated right here. It completely brings out the blue in my eyes like so much. It's like a steel color and I absolutely love that color so much. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do 
um, kind of like a smoky, a smoked out wing liner. Um, and it's going to look very, very cat eye. Um, my eyes are very almond shape and I want to just do this like really super like swept blended cat eye look that's a little bit like beautiful looking, like not too wild and crazy, but just like a cool shape that's very sexy and sultry. So there's two ways that you can do it. Cremated is the, the liner color that we use. And then I just kind of like blend it all the way in. And I use a little bit of ice tray right in here um, on in the middle of the lid. And then there's two options for this look, Cullinan and Crystal Flash. If you want it to be more white and bright and more of like a um, soft drag sort of like look, or you want it to be like more um, like wowzers, then I would recommend doing Cullinan. But I like using Crystal Flash because I like it to have more of a skin tone sort of it's not even bronzy, like it's it's more of just like a beautiful like shimmer skin tone. So I like using that color. So we're gonna go ahead and start and take Celebrity Skin on a wrapper 14 and just go right into the crease and back and forth, tapping it and then blending it out. And then we're gonna also bring this into our nose and eye contour all the way in here. This is my favorite color to use. And then we're gonna blend this out with Wealthy. I'm going to use a Refer 01 and Wealthy. To blend that in together. And then I'm going to go back in with the same brush and Celebrity Skin. Most of the eye look is going to be out here. So by defining the nose area right here and the bone area in here, it's going to still help bring the eye to all of the bone structure. So that not only is it going to be just like this really cat eye out here, but you're going to draw attention to the inner part of the eye as well. And it just, so much more aesthetically pleasing. So then we're just gonna blend those in together very well. I'm gonna use my Scott Barnes 5-9 to grab cremated like we did over here. And we're going to, we're going to create a smoky wing liner. We just do this to protect it. And we're gonna come about right there and do this nice smoked out wing liner. And then we're just gonna exaggerate it and then I'm going to take my refer. I'm going to take my refer 13 and blend it out like I did on this side. Take ice tray on your on a pinky finger and go right 
above that kind of contouring it in but look how it's just like this beautiful beautiful blue icy blue color called ice tray and it just I love how it makes my blue eyes pop and then we're going to take crystal flesh right and pop that right in the inner portion of the eye. And then we're just gonna blend everything in. So like this layer will be blended into um, celebrity skin. These are gonna be blended in together and then we're just gonna blend all of it together. Now I'm going to take a Marc Jacobs blacker and smudge out my lash line with black before we add the lashes. I'm going to take Cullinan, pop that in the inner corner for some blinding gorgeous sugar. And then put some up here on the brow arch. And look at that gorgeous color. It's so pretty. Love it. I'm going to put that in the tight line as well. Line, and then I'm gonna put some mascara on and then we're gonna get our lashes. Now I'm gonna take these gorgeous lashes called Gina from Scott Farms. They're falsetto lashes. They are so beautiful, but like, look at that. They're so pretty. Look at the design, it's gorgeous. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna finish up under the eyes after I get these lashes on, then move on to the rest of our cheeks and finish so pretty. Off. Okay, then we're gonna take ice tray and put pop that a little bit right here to be like a blending transition blend shade, just like we did up here. And then we're gonna use the same color of crystal flesh. Okay, now we're going to do bottom lashes, waterline, and then clean everything. That's what I like to clean up my liner, underliner lines with Catrice precision concealer and then like a brush. This is a uh, JS7. to go in with in my waterline with Marc Jacobs Cinderella it's kind of like a gray yeah it's like a slate color it's and it matches cremated so well and my blue eyes make them pop so yeah we're gonna so you could use this you can see the difference it would pop if you made it more like a pink last year when I did this look on my I did this look on my um, get, getting to know me video or something like that and I used pink but today I'm going to use this because I want it to have more of that like kind of cat eye sort of look. Pretty, so pretty. Okay, so now we're going to use these 
beauties. We're going to use the Scott Barnes Chic, Chic number one, volume number one. And let's see here with this look, I think I'm going to use, um, Well, there's the difference there. I think I'm going to use minimalist. Maybe even minimalist. And if I need to deepen it, I'm going to use a uh, crush and blush. And I'm going to take a JS4. so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I'm gonna wipe away this though. I'm gonna wipe away my baking. There we go. Okay, let's get the minimalist again. Wow, oh, that is so pretty. It just gives you this like natural, like peachy glow. <gasps> okay, let's use showy and maybe even, but for sure showy. <laughs> Psych! <laughs> no, I forgot I just got this highlight palette this entire one and I tested it out and candlelight right here this color candlelight is probably my all-time favorite color of highlighter for my skin tone it is so beautiful I'm gonna use a few though because I like using different highlighters for different areas um, and I kind of go a little crazy with them. So um, since I have a whole palette, I'm going to go paint, highlight paint crazy. <laughs> so we're going to take, I'm going to use my Refer 15 for my targeted areas. And I'm going to start with Candlelight, that color. And I'm going to use that right. And if you can see, I want you to see how it just looks like your skin color. It's the perfect skin color highlighter. It's not too pink, it's not too champagne, it's not too rosy, it's not too warm, it's not too bronze. It's like kind of like the best tone. The only other one that um, has been my favorite, favorite everyday highlighter is Natasha Denona Super Glow. This has a very, very similar color, but almost a little bit warmer, like deeper, like not as white, not as fair. So this is, looks more like a universal color, candlelight. Jeez, this one's shit. Okay, so we're also going to put that right here. So you see how it's like, it's not too light. Oh, missed a spot here. Hold on. There we go. Okay. Keep his bow. Okay, then we're going to do I'm going to use, yeah, I'm going to use this a little bit right up in, because this kind of goes out on my head. These bones kind of like go really far out on mine. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to also put this right in the center here. because I love how that looks. But now, now I'm going to actually, let's go. Yeah, oh, look at that. Oh my God, it's so pretty. It is so pretty. A 
Okay, now, I don't wanna get my, I like getting my cheeks in here. Okay, so then now we're going to use Pink Crush. This one right here, um, I'm gonna use the same brush and pop the highlights even more at the tippy top most bit. And I'm gonna do that right in the center of this one right here. Wow. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Make a little bit of a tiny bit there, yeah. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to take, after I do highlight, I like to go back over with the lash a little bit. So I'm going to take Minimalist again. And blend that together and then let's do a... Alright, so it's looking pretty. We're just going to use uh, some a nude lip liner and do... A nude, I don't know, for my photo shoot, I might do a blue lip or a glory lip or something. But for for you, since you want something really pretty, I'm going to do a nude for you. Okay, and then I'm going to do two glosses. Uh, Christiana from... Christiana from uh, Sydney Grace, one of my new favorite lip glosses. And then I'm going to use my other favorite lip gloss, which is almost completely out. Can you see? It's gone. It's my, it's one of my favorite, it, it is my favorite Jeffree Star Cosmetics lip gloss and it's almost gone. It's called Shockwave. And we're going to put this on top of this one because this one's like really thick and full coverage. And this is like this super smelling good, gorgeous, like duochrome glitter that's going to match Crystal Flesh, so pretty. So that just gives like a nice, a really nice, pretty nude. Look at that. It just took my lips to like another dimension. It just like made them pop, made them be like look like I just got another lip injection like on top of my lip gloss. I just, I love this stuff. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so we're gonna use a little bit of body bling. It's a little bit too dark for me right now. I ordered the platinum as well, uh, but it's gonna give you this really beautiful golden sort of glow. I'm gonna put it on a little brush just so you can get a, little view of it but I'm gonna put a little bit like right here it's just it's like a gel like formula that formula that's very smoothing and cool it feels very cooling it doesn't it doesn't have a scent um but look at how well it blended in it, it like it blends in really well I'm gonna put a little bit more let me get a little bit more I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand and then just grab more as needed. But yeah, I like that you can kind of like paint and sculpt with it, like your body, and it just like kind of blends in really well. Don't wanna get my shirt. And it's almost like it blends into your own color a little bit on my arms. And my son's getting his TV dinner lunch. Right, so I should have wore a different shirt so that you could see it a little bit better. I think what I'll do is do a separate video showing both when, when my other one comes in so that we can compare. Uh, but so far, I love the formula. I think it's really, really nice. I think that it's really, really pretty on the skin. I love how cooling and gel-like it is. And um, I, I just love it. So 
I love the finished the finished look. It's just like a just a really super easy smoky cat eye, and um, I love love I love how pigmented the blushes are the cheek cheek palette. And these colors are so pretty. Like I said, this candlelight color is amazing. It's probably one of my top top five highlighter colors of all time. <laughs> So yeah, I really, really like this. I'm so excited. I can't wait to use like some of these for the summer. Like look at this bronzerella color for summer. Like hello. And like the golden glow. It's going to be a good summer. Yeah. It's going to be glowing. So I hope that you liked this quick cat eye smoky look and beautiful glowing cheeks. And thank you so much for joining me.